Good morning and welcome to the 23rd annual induction of the Fort Jennings chapter of the National Honor Society. As you can see, this is a very serious ceremony. However, it is not just the ceremony that is important. It is the National Honor Society as a whole that is so extremely important and prestigious. The Society was founded in 1921 to encourage students to excel at scholarship, the heart of a school. It also promotes and teaches us to step up and fulfill our duties to create a school and community that are at its best. Our chapter of the National Honor Society has adopted a national constitution, just as all of the over 15,000 other chapters have. But we have our own set of bylaws to the constitution to provide for our chapter's own unique needs. Today, we will be using the candle lighting service for our induction ceremony. This is a very serious ceremony and a requirement to become a full member, so I'm asking that all of you please give your full attention and respect to our speakers and the actions taking place today. I would like to introduce our advisor and our current members. Our advisor is Mrs. Harmon. The current National Honor Society members include myself, Lindsay Kaur, Abby Grohm, Megan Vetter, Derek Lerzman, Madison Neider, Connor Hurston, Simon Smith, Justin Liebert, Ethan Lukey, and Lexi Hurston. The membership of of the Fort Jennings chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of four qualities held in high esteem. Our members will review these qualities for the candidates. Speaking on the meaning of scholarship is Lindsay Core. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours reading and reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. The door of success is before us right now. The key to that door is being shaped and strengthened right here in school. This key of knowledge is being offered to all who will take it. Those who have taken this key, those who have shown themselves willing to learn, are today being accepted into the Honor Society. They are the ones who will take their places as the scholars of tomorrow. The world recognizes and always will recognize the importance of the scholar in shaping a better, more prosperous world. Speaking on the meaning of service is Abby Grohn. Service is contributing to one's community, family, or school without being paid and doing the action with a positive, courteous, and enthusiastic attitude. Service is done without expecting anything in return. Throughout the year, the National Honor Society participates in several service projects as an organization. Our main service project is the sponsorship of the blood drive held every March at Fort Jennings High School. Through this service project, we are able to save lives. Also, NHS members donate items for our military overseas. Fort Jennings NHS members have assisted the Salvation Army by ringing the bell at the Red Kettles during the holiday season. In the spring, we serve lunch to the elderly on Senior Citizen Day. These are just a few of the service projects that we complete as an organization, but each individual also performs service activities on his or her own. So as we stress character, leadership, scholarship, and service today, we hope the entire student body participates in some form of service inside and outside of school. It is important to note that each individual does make a difference, and even if the service action may not seem like much, very rarely does it an act of kindness go unnoticed. Speaking on the meaning of leadership is Megan Better.
Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. Leadership is not just given to everyone. It is something you must work towards in order to achieve. However, it is definitely not impractical to grasp. To be a good leader, you must have the willingness to take responsibility for what you do. You must also be tough-minded in order to see things as they actually are and not necessarily what you want them to be. A leader knows what is right and wrong. They don't let others influence them, but, others, but influence others. However, even leaders will make mistakes. What they do with these mistakes is what sets them aside from the crowd. So you can see, all you sitting here today are the potential leaders of this school, community, and even world. Each and every single one of you will be faced with many leadership roles in your life, but it is up to you to determine what you will make out of this potential. Speaking on the meaning of character is Derek Lersman. Character is not the performance an individual puts on in front of their teachers, parents, or friends. It is what the person believes in and the actions that they take. Every action and decision we make determines our character. Making the right decisions will make us one step closer to building a good character. The way we display ourselves and the actions we take in front of people determine their views on us. It is not enough to be just a good character inside. We need to prove it to others through our actions. Character may, character may be only what we think of ourselves, but we cannot get anywhere in life alone. The way people heal us is extremely important to success. The actions and decisions we make will either gain or lose us respect. Why is character important? A person with good character can become a good role model for others. They can better the world through the decisions they make. Character is more important than the talents we possess because character determines what we do with our talents. Madison Knight will now speak on the eligibility requirements to become a member. Eligible for the National Honor Society, a student must be a junior or senior and earn a 3.5 or higher cumulative grade point average. Each student is then notified of his or her eligibility for candidacy because of his or her scholastic achievement. If the student wishes to be considered, he or she must complete the student activity form on which he or she lists extracurricular activities, leadership experience, community activities, work experience, awards, and recognition. He or she must acquire three reference letters and must also submit a 300-word typed essay on why he or she wishes to be a National Honor Society member. The faculty council then evaluates each can candidate on the areas of service, leadership, and character. I would like to provide for you a brief description of what it takes to show the qualities of leadership, service, and character. A student who exercises leadership shows initiative in pro promoting School activities, inspires positive behavior in others, uses resources when new problems arise, accepts responsibility and contributes ideas that improve the civic life of student offices or positions of responsibility. The student who serves participant, participates in some outside activities such as scouting, church groups, volunteer services, works well with others, represents the school in competition, maintains a loyal school attitude, volunteers dependable and well-organized assistance, and shows willingness to sacrifice to offer assistance to others. The student of character takes criticism willingly, con consistently shows desirable qualities of behavior such as cheerfulness, friendliness, and poise, 
upholds principles of morality and ethic, cooperates by complying with school relations, demonstrates the high standards of honesty and reliability, shows concern, courtesy, and respect for others, manifests thoughtfulness and obeying rules, avoiding cheating, and showing unwillingness to profit by the mistakes of others, and actively helps rid the school of bad influences and environment. Christina Gerdman, daughter of Charles and Penny Gerdman. Sydney Siebenek, daughter of Heather Stauffer. Lydia Mormon, daughter of Tim and Jody Mormon. Kristen Lersman, daughter of Dave and Kathy Lersman. Olivia Conley, daughter of Damien and Jessica Conley.
I will now administer the oath. New members, please repeat in unison after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands, will be loyal to my school, and I will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Please distinguish your candles. Parents, it is you who have guided your children this far. Please continue to encourage your children as they receive these new responsibilities that have bestowed upon them today. New members, as I call your name, please walk over to sign the ledger and receive your membership certificate and lanyard from Mrs. Harmon and Mr. Hain. Christina Gerdman. Sydney Sivanek. Lydia Mormon. Kristen Lersman. Olivia Conley. Good morning. I'm honored to speak today as we recognize our students who are being inducted into the National Honor Society. These students have demonstrated and exceeded the four requirements of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character. This is a special honor and a prestigious ceremony, and we thank Mrs. Heather Harmon, our science teacher, class advisor, and National Honor Society advisor. Thank you for providing our students this opportunity to join such an elite organization. We would like to also thank all of the teachers. Also thank the teachers who were on the uh, National Honor Society Faculty Council. They just devoted their time and efforts into reviewing all the applications for membership. To all the teachers and staff, thank you for your dedication to not only these National Honor Society students or members, but for all of our students, you are an elite group of educators. 
You prepare our students for their future. Finally, the student body, thank you for respecting today's ceremony, and thank you for your commitment to your education and representing this community in a great fashion. Today we honor and recognize our 11 current members of the National Honor Society and our five new members who have met all the required criteria needed to be selected to such a prestigious organization. These students make up our Jennings local chapter of the National Honor Society. They have demonstrated the requirements of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character, which display outstanding determination in becoming a well-rounded student and even better citizen. Their commitment to their academics in service to, the, to our school and community is an example of what we all should strive to do. The Jennings local chapter of the National Honor Society should be very proud of your accomplishments. On behalf of the student body, staff, and myself, thank you parents and the Jennings local school community for supporting all of our students in and out of the classroom. <coughs> also for providing them the opportunities to excel here at Jennings Local and in life. Congratulations to the new members of the National Honor Society and the best of luck to all the current members of the National Honor Society. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone involved in this ceremony today. Mrs. Harmon, the faculty council and staff, the custodial staff, Mr. Warnicke for helping with the music, all the current members, Mr. Jospel for helping with the parents, Mr. Hain, and the parents of the new members for being with us at this induction ceremony. I'd like to invite the parents and members to a reception immediately after the ceremony in the auxiliary gym. At this time, I would like to close our ceremony by inviting everyone to form a line and congratulate our new members. The senior NHS members will lead the line followed by faculty and staff, and then the seniors, and so on down the classes. After you have passed through the line, please report to class. Thank you. <laughs> 